We are following a deadly crash that closed southbound lanes at 169 at Berry Road. We're still trying to learn more about the victim. It happened just after 4 o'clock. As the investigation continues, of course, the southbound lanes are expected to be closed for several more hours. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan is on the scene trying to piece together what led to the crash and what you've learned. Charlie, the wreckage behind you is just devastating to see. It is devastating, but police say four people survived this crash. We know one man died in this crash, but four survived. All five people inside the car were thrown from the car during this crash. As you take a look here behind me, you can see this is a Ford Fusion. It's a sedan. Uh, it hardly looks like that anymore. It's on its side. Police say this car was actually heading northbound on 169 Highway, approaching Barry Road. And for some reason, the car veered off into the median, hit the soft median, and started rolling and uh, rolled at least once. Uh, and landed upside down here in the barrier along the southbound lane. So this barrier actually stopped the car from coming into oncoming traffic in the southbound lanes as that car headed northbound. And if we zoom out a little bit, you can see even on these southbound lanes, there's still police out here with the roadblock checking things out, part of the investigation, but there is still debris also uh, that was thrown from the car as it rolled and crashed into this uh, location. Now, with a new update, we do have uh, more information about the victims in this situation. Uh, the people in the car, police say they're all adults. There are no children or teenagers involved in this situation. Uh, there were four men and one woman, and the person who died was a man. Of the four people who went to the hospital from this situation, uh, one is in serious condition. The other three have non-life-threatening injuries as a result of this crash. Police using this as a reminder to say it is always important to wear your seatbelt. They haven't been able to officially determine that none, no one was using their seatbelt, but oftentimes when you're thrown from a car in a crash, it's because you're not wearing your seatbelt. So they just want to remind everybody to buckle up as you head out uh, on your uh, drive to work this morning. I'm reporting live in the Northland, Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today.